Now, NBC5 First Warning Weather, the area's certified most accurate forecast. Something to say that we haven't said much of this summer, and that's that snow is on the way. This summer? <laughs> what did I say? I said summer? <laughs> yes. I meant, see, it's oh. because it felt like summer not too long ago. Over the weekend, it felt like summer. <laughs> what was in your coffee earlier? Okay. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, there. There's some excitement for sure. I mean, the roads are going to be a mess this evening, but it's a real quick mover. So uh, I don't think there's a whole lot left tomorrow morning. If you have someone to shovel the driveway, especially. Right? Yep. Lucky I do. <laughs> uh, let's take a look here at what's going on in terms of the weather headlines, because yes, there's snow tonight, but we're really seeing a pretty good signal for a windy weekend. I don't think it's at a damaging level, but you'll notice it not just tomorrow, but uh, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, just each afternoon, 20, 30, in some cases, 35 mile per hour wind. And we've we've kind of gone through a lot of this winter without the wind. So just wanted to highlight that as we move along. I think the brightest day is President's Day Monday, so it's a long wait but at least one of the days for the holiday week and we'll have a decent amount of sun. So a lot of winter weather advisories out there. We don't even have a weather alert in Burlington, uh, but you go up in elevation a little bit and there is a winter weather advisory, even a warning for southern St. Lawrence County. Had the beautiful sunshine this morning and then the milky clouds came in right on cue this afternoon. That's what we've got overhead, but if you follow the weather, even to a small degree, you know that the high clouds don't produce any precipitation. So it's still a waiting game here at 418. I would say six, seven, eight o'clock is really when the snow breaks out and it's already cold enough. 20s and low 30s, not going to be an issue there. A lot of this uh, radar action on the leading edge is just drying up. There may be a flurry in St. Lawrence County or say Saranac Lake, Tupper Lake near the old Big Tupper ski area. But I don't think uh, we have much of a problem on the roads till after sunset by a little bit, even a, a flurry possible in southern Vermont. But it's still going to be a little while. You can see the patch of snow there right over Lake Ontario. By the way, uh, record low amount of ice on the Great Lakes. It's, it's almost ice free totally, all the Great Lakes. Just a little update there. We'll continue to follow that. Here's the snow coming in. 9 o'clock tonight, best chance for one inch per hour snow. So the roads are a mess this evening. Probably going to be some accidents. The highways will be a tough go, a slow go. And then after midnight, see how the snow really falls apart? There'll be snow showers around, and there's still some snow around at 8 o'clock in the morning, but kind of hugging the mountains once we get to that point. And it should snow all day tomorrow in the mountains. But I think everywhere else, the road conditions improve throughout the day tomorrow. Clouds, maybe some sunshine, but generally it's a pretty cloudy Friday. On Saturday, clouds, some sunshine, definitely wind in the mix, and a few snow showers as well. So it's an okay day, but you'll notice the wind all weekend long. Sunday's the same, clouds, some sunshine with a gusty wind. Just to illustrate the wind here, uh, there is even an advisory in southern spots. Could be up near 40 miles per hour, and that's just tomorrow, but I think we repeat it each day going forward. Snowfall generally 2 to 4 inches in the Champlain Valley, uh, 4 to 8 inches in the Malone area. We're going over to central Vermont. Should uh, pop an 8 there around Mansfield and Jay, but uh, only 2 to 4 there for Montpelier and in southern Vermont. Then you go up into the mountains, 4 to 8 inches in Willington, which should make a lot of folks happy there. All kinds of winter enthusiasts focused on this snow. So as we go along, still some snow showers on Saturday. Temps upper 20s, low 30s. Monday is the brightest of the holiday weekend. Beautiful on Tuesday of next week. Then we're right up near 40 degrees for Wednesday and for Thursday of next week. Could be uh, a little bit of a wintry mix in there late week.